Hello and welcome to another episode of some energy and star sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Today we're looking at the week of November, the 11th to the 18th, 2019. And I've mentioned this numerous times throughout the year that apparently this year, 2019, has been more than taxing for most of us. Right out, um, flat out horrible for many of us. The reason is because we need more healers, we need more people in high energy. So all the stuff that we're carrying with us, that we haven't released yet, all the stuff that we are not looking at, um, apparently the universe is pushing us to work through all these things. And uh, that's why a lot of people have mentioned this to me. Um, they were saying like, you know, I haven't, I haven't thought about that stuff in years. <laughs> I haven't looked at this in years and all of a sudden this flares up and then this happens. So, so there is a reason um, why this year for many of us wasn't a great year. I can't wait to see the, see the back of it, <laughs> that kind of thing. Be this as it may, the reason why I'm mentioning this is because as we're heading towards the end of the year, logically speaking and naturally speaking, the universe will keep pushing um, and, you know, to, for us to sort of, you know, make some strides in our healing, if that makes sense. So, um, but we also have had weeks where we didn't have to do anything, we just sort of needed to be kind of thing, right? And remember, no matter what you're going through, your guides are always around you, okay? So um, let's just see, before we go into the individual star signs, starting with the star sign of Scorpio, we are looking at the, the, overall, the, the, the overall energy for the week of November the 11th to the 18th, 2019. Here we go. Let's see what we got. That's not bad, folks. <laughs> <coughs> we have the Hunter of Vision and the Hunter of Abundance. So what the guides are saying is, this is a week to focus. Forget about arguments, forget about everything and anything that has to do with um, people annoying you, um, people pushing your buttons, even though this will, this will obviously uh, be there this week um, unless you find a way to put a stop to it, if that makes sense. But your, your real, or our, because the over energy, our real task this week, November the 11th to the 18th of 2019, is to reflect, number one, reflect on, on, on what went on, and then instead of just staying there, this is about directing your thoughts toward the future. Have a vision. Envision what you would like to happen in 2020, for instance, or envision what you would like to achieve. Envision the one thing, for instance, that you're struggling with become not only doable, but become a joy. Okay, so you have the hunter of vision, which means it's your job, our job, to focus on what it is we really want to happen. And then we have the hunter of abundance. Um, and that means once we're starting focusing on the positive things and the things that we really want, not only will it manifest quicker, but because you have the hunter of abundance, it also means that this will be um, uh, fulfilling us and, and uh, financially even be viable uh, for all of us. Okay, so this is about thinking and dreaming big, okay? A lot of people think like, oh, I would love to have this, but I can't, and then I can't afford this, and I can't do this. That's how you close doors, right? Um, because how this works is, you know, you could say, for instance, you know, um, oh, I would like to buy this guitar, but it's too grand, and I only, uh, and I can't afford it, right? Blah, blah, blah. So what you, what you do is you actually manifest not buying a guitar, not having a guitar at all. If you just acknowledge, yeah, at the moment I don't have the finances, but your intention is to actually buy a guitar and play guitar, then the universe will find a way to filter this down to a level that is doable or surprise you, right? So this is just an example. I don't play guitar. I have no idea why the guys put this into my head, <laughs> okay? So 
that's just so that's just what what we have to do for this week focus really really important and now we're going into such a, into sorry i'm not with it today am i <laughs> so that was the overall energy and now we're going into scorpio the first star sign of the week november the 11th to the 18th 2019 Scorpios, you have the goat and the bull. And what that means is this. For Scorpios this week, this is about realizing that things are already manifesting for you. Right? Things are already coming. I always say that when the goat shows up, she hangs on a cliff on two legs and doesn't fall. It means you won't fail. Really, really important. Right? It's also a symbol of stability. If that makes sense, right? Because the um, the imagery that that I sometimes get about um, uh, the animal being used in, in sacrifices, which it obviously shouldn't, uh, doesn't come up here. So, so with regards to the goat energy that we're having here, um, the only thing I get is the the is the positive aspects of this being, which basically means you know you're gonna you're gonna succeed in whatever it is you want to succeed in. Really, really important to keep manifesting that then. Really, really important. But here is you have the bull, right? And what the bull is saying, you need to make sure that while you are planning out a better life, while you are manifesting a better life, to have your boundaries straight. So set, set your boundaries. Really, really important. Have your boundaries set. Um, so it is easier then if nobody is in your space messing things up. So... Have a look what's going on around you, all right? Well, Scorpio, going into Sagittarius, drawn to this deck. <laughs> okay. <coughs> I've been saying this a lot, that sometimes we have, or oftentimes, almost every time, we have messages for a star sign and then they sort of carry on into another, if that makes sense. And that sort of semi here feels, feels that way. Um, and we're now looking at uh, Sagittarius because you have the gull and the owl. What the guides are saying this week, it's important to have a plan, right? Think about what it is you really want to achieve. Think it through. Think about it. Look at it. Really, really important is to pay attention because you also have the owl, you know, who can tilt her head um, quite a bit. So what they're saying is have a, a wider vision, right? Make sure you you hear everything. Make sure you see everything. Make sure you pay attention to what's going on around you and, and before you, if that makes sense, right? But have a plan, right? Not only visualize what it is you want, but think it through, make notes, and then head on, face it, and um, accomplish it, if that makes sense. Okay? It was a bit of work here for Sagittarius, but good. Right? And now we're going into Capricorn. That looks familiar. <coughs> I think we had similar things with Capricorn the other week. For Capricorns, it's important this week to make sure that your home is a place where you feel you can recharge your batteries. Right? What they're saying is, look at your domestic situation. What is the problem there? What are the obstacles there? What doesn't allow you to progress? If that makes sense, right? So um, maybe a good idea because you have the you have the drum and and the TP the TP reflecting your home and the drum meaning cleansing. So make sure you you cleanse your house, right? You can use a pendulum, you can use sage, you can use incense sticks. There's tons of ways. Uh, sound, you can use sound. There's tons of ways to um, cleanse a home. But that's what I'm getting strongly here for Capricorns, and that's the message that the guides are giving giving us. Um, really, really important this week. 
pay attention to what isn't working in your home or whoever lives with you, what do they do that causes you stress and upset so you can reflect on it and tackle it better, right? Okay, so this is not about going inward, Capricorns. Don't go inwards. What they're saying is observe. Be in your home, look at what's going on, reflect on it and then deal with it. Okay, so that was Capricorn going into Aquarius. This is the age of Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, don't be afraid of change. The only constant in the universe is change. You might as well embrace it. What the guides are saying to you this week is to get yourself a vantage point. Look at things from a higher point of view and you will notice that for the most part you're actually doing quite all right. And because there's changes here, um, what they're saying to you is if life uproots you, unsettles you, whatever happens to you, if this is a situation where you look at work and or relationships and you think, you know, I've done so much here and it's not quite working, then what the guides are saying is, no matter what you do and where you go, you will be fine. Really, really important. So in other words, what the guides are saying is, is to not, not go into worries, not go into your own fear patterns as to why you can't change things and why things ultimately stay difficult, right? What they're saying is no. Reflect and remember you're being looked after. The universe and the guides are, are there. And what they're saying to you is, no matter what you decide to do, you will be fine. Okay? That was Aquarius going into Pisces. <laughs> there is a full moon on Tuesday the 12th. And I had planned to leave this out completely <laughs> and just um, ask the guides for, for uh, messages. <clears throat> but for Pisces, I am being made aware of the full moon. And what that means is there will be um, an energy surge, but it's not one, not a surge that will um, <laughs> uplift us. It will be one more or less that goes like, and you're like, whoa, what the heck's going on, right? So we are being hit this week um, with maybe a lot of unpleasant thoughts and maybe, um, well, not maybe, that's what the guys are saying. We will be um, confronted with a lot of stuff we um, rather not think about or have trouble letting go, right? And because of the full moon on the 12th, we will be midweek, we will feel this all much more. Right? So that's just the moon thing and we have the eagle and the dolphin. All they're saying is we see things not only the way they are, but we see things coming. Right? So what they're saying to us Pisces, right? um, don't act um, surprised when things hit you because very likely you have hidden it and hidden that stuff inside yourself so don't be like where did that come from it's because we haven't dealt with it right i don't get the feeling that that we need to go through a lot this week all the guides are saying it is a week where we need space we have the dolphin which is an animal that lives in water and and water is renewable but it also reflects the the, the fact that sometimes we just need space and and me time right so this is not a week where we um should be seeing million and one people, million and one people. This is a week where we probably not go inward as such, but um, where we allow calmness to be our biggest ally, right? The other thing about the dolphin is that people uh, always think, oh, he's smiling. It's just, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the way the muscles work in, 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 in the dolphin's face, that he can't make that many faces. So, so, he, so he's read wrong a lot. So in other words, Cut a long story short. 
What the guides are saying is, don't act. Don't say, I'm fine when you're really not, right? Um, it's important for, 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 for us Pisces this week to acknowledge how we're truly feeling. And if there are people that are rather shallow about it, and we usually go along with it and pretend we're fine, that's not the week to do it, okay? Okay, so that's, that's us Pisces, right? Well, we, us Pisces had better weeks, isn't it? <laughs> and now we're going into Aries. Right. For Aries, in a way, it's short and sweet. What the guides are saying is, you think about the past, you might as well live in it. Right? What they're saying is, don't be in the past emotionally and mentally. Right? Let bygones be bygones. Right? You, this is the feeling I, I get, you, um, you sacrificed a lot in the past. You sacrificed a lot of yourself in the past. So you have scars um, and you have open wounds from, from past um, experiences, you know, trauma, so to speak. And what the guides are saying is, this is the week, November the 11th to the 18th, where you say, and I'm cutting this. I, I spend way too much time thinking about my past and I'm, and I'm not doing it, okay? Rather than, um, rather what the guides are saying to, to, to you is, once you start letting it go, you also can begin to envision a better, a better future. And this is partly what you ought to be doing, is, is to not go into what can't be done. You know, a lot of people do this. They kind of go like, well, I can't do this and I can't do this. And I get it, right? Because situations are, are static for, for most of us or for many of us and difficult to change, at least at a glance. But what the guides are saying is, if you just stop letting the past define you, that's a big step already, okay? Okie dokie, that was Aries going into Taurus. Before we go into, into Taurus, I just want to mention something because I, I, I don't think it's just me, <laughs> but I've noticed right at this moment, you know, in, in the now, <clears throat> I'm shifting. So I'm all over the place and then I'm not. I'm, I'm with something and I can stay very focused and then I'm off. And so what the guides are saying or, or the, what the guides are showing me is, uh, this is not a Pisces thing, by the way, is... There is, there has been, for, for all of us, otherwise they wouldn't say it, um, there has been way too much going on in 2019. And what the guides are saying is don't expect to heal from it in a day, right? So again, it's a time of reflection. Uh, I'm not sure what this has to do with, 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 with Tauruses yet. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's related to Taurus. They just made me aware of this and I thought I... I, I um, I share it, if that makes sense, right? So I, I hear, tell you one thing. <clears throat> I'm usually doing quite well, right? I, I, I watch what I eat and I have my teas and stuff. And lately, I overeat greatly. You know, just love it. They, you know, they, they have all these German Lebkuchen, you know, gingerbread, hearts and, you know, hearts and stars. And, um, and I just go like, oh yeah, right? And I'm also, um, I don't drink pop ever. And um, the other day, I bought myself a Diet Coke. So there's something off, and I'm craving something. And, and, but, but the reason I'm mentioning this is because I have the feeling a lot of people um, crave something. And the, the point I'm trying to make is once your, your normal routine changes and you're compensating for something with food, stop and look at what's going on, if that makes sense, right? So again, I have no idea why they bring this up right before Taurus, because Tauruses have a um, 
<laughs> a regular week for Tauruses. You have the hunter of gifts in the spirit of challenge. What I'm saying is, right, if you want to get something, have something, go for it. And in, as a matter of fact, go after it. Really, really important for Tauruses to not just talk, you know, pursue what it is you want to do, but also be prepared that things, and this is important for this week for Tauruses, this is not going to be an easy week energetically, right? So it's not the most forthcoming uh, week. You're not going to have a lot of forthcoming people that are really willing to go the extra mile for you this week. So it will be a, a challenging week for, for Tauruses, especially with regards to um, interaction with others. Okay? Um, all the guys are saying is go after whatever it is you want to go after. Right? All right? Okay? Short and sweet, so to speak. <laughs> Let's go into Gemini. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Gemini. And what I mean by this is you have... Okay, when, when we have these animal guides here, right? <coughs> they are called deities, right? So each animal in a way represents a highly spirit, uh, spiritual being that is now a guide, right? Cut a long story short. And you have all of them. You have, the, you have a, a multitude of guides around you. And what they're saying to Gemini this week, remember that you have got nothing to prove to anyone, right? You are good at what you're doing, even if you can't see it. So for Gemini, it's important to just pat yourself on the back and say, like, I am all right. And also, tell people off that make you feel less, right? Short and sweet, but what the guides are saying is you're surrounded by a ton <laughs> of, of guides um, at, this, at this point in time that help you um, assess your life and envision a better future. Because remember, the overall energy was to... To, to, in a way, look ahead and envision what it is you want to do and then manifest it, right? Okay, that was Gemini going into Cancer. Here we go. <laughs> okay, Cancerians, whatever is going on with you this week, this is not the week to fight. You have the lion and the cat, right? And the lion is the only social cat in the universe. <laughs> so what the guides are saying to you is, right, make sure your personal space is safe. And if there is anything that is too much, walk away. That's all they're really saying to Cancerians this week. If there's any trouble, this is not the week to have arguments. This is the week so to say, F off, <laughs> right? I'm not dealing with this. Well, it's not, not necessarily true. They're not asking you not to deal with it, but what they're saying is don't have arguments, just walk away. Right? Short and sweet for Cancerians. Now going into Leo. Here we go. <laughs> you have probably noticed <coughs> that I'm beginning to rush. It's because I just had a little message here on my screen that my battery is, is supposedly is going flat soon. Which is usually a good sign because I think that happens a lot to me at least when the guides are around. Anyway, so um, I can't talk too fast because I'm really talking faster than I should. <laughs> right? So going into Leo. Leos, you have the butterfly and the wolf. So what they're saying is whatever is happening in your life, you will manage, you're ready for new beginnings but also be in charge of your destiny. Be in control of what you have. I'm getting the, the, the energy that I'm getting is of, of Leos who are not doing so well health-wise and have hospital appointments, doctor appointments, that sort of thing, where, where someone in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a white coat is telling you what they feel you should be doing. And even though I'm not knocking the NHS or anyone here, the feeling that I'm getting is, that when you are being confronted 
with some news and even some suggestions. Make sure you understand what they're saying and have an input yourself. So this is just a scenario that he gave me. So this, that doesn't mean that it's not applicable for all the other lions, uh, sorry, Elios. What I'm getting strongly is for you to be in charge this week, but also you're ready for new beginnings. So if there's something in your life, anything, where you feel this has been major, has been a major problem in, 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 in recent weeks or months, and if you feel, you know, this isn't changing, now it's time to let that go. All right? That's Leo. <clears throat> Going into Virgo. Second last star sign of the week, November the 11th to the 19th. Virgos, for you this week, it's important to not, <laughs> sounds wrong, not do much. This is your week for deep healing. Okay? What the guides are asking you this week is to allow yourself to go through whatever it is that you need to go through and allow for, for, for healing to happen. And that's all you really got. Okay? That was Virgo going into Libra, the last star sign for this week. Let's see what's going on. Okay. For Libra. Did I mention this already? I'm, I don't know how, how, obviously, when you see this, this is probably going to be a few days later. Right this moment, I'm, I'm being hit energetically with, with feelings of upset. And um, I don't know, I have a feeling like a breakdown is coming or something, which I can't quite understand why this is happening while I'm recording this, if that makes sense. Uh, anyway, I'm, all of a sudden I'm not feeling so well. We'll see what, 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 what's happening. Don't have to worry about me, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> um, so I have no idea why this is happening. <coughs> Let's go into Libra. What they're saying to you guys, to you guys, see I can't even talk, is have some boundaries in place. Right? Make sure your, your space is safe. Have some boundaries in place so that you can feel um, not invaded by anyone's energy that shouldn't be there or any person that shouldn't be there. Just make sure you have boundaries up this week. But here's another important thing for Libras this week. Don't think for a minute that you're all alone. Because what the guides are saying is you have a massive tribe around you. They could be in spirit, but I also have the feeling for most Libras, there are good people in your life. And, um, and I get the feeling for, for, for Libra, for the guides give me, is um, to look deeper into your spirituality and, and go there. Maybe do more meditations, more journeys this week, uh, because it certainly can give you more clarity. Right? Okay? So, that's, um, that's all I got uh, this week. I know I'm, 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 I'm a bit incoherent. I'm all over the place. Um, I'm not doing so well, to be fair. You know, I'm still going through a lot of stuff but then again it's 2019 and as you noticed we all go through stuff and um and i always find it a bit fake when people only record when they're well and they go like yay it's all good right i um i promised i do these videos as best i can and and i do it as best i can it is a free service so please share this find white and the guides want you to listen to them and and, and get the messages that they do and I just work here, so to speak. So, so I'm doing this, right? But I also feel that it is uh, important, not just for me right now, but, but for a lot of people, to acknowledge how we truly feel, if that makes sense, right? Okay, and now I'm going to have a tea and I'll see you all very soon. Bye-bye.